Uh, hello everybody, my name is Zoltan Vinaj. I am a structural engineer from Budapest, Hungary. And this is the 100 Wonders of Parametric World. And the fourth episode, uh, it's about dragonfly wings. It's a very amazing topic. Let me show you a short video, then start it. This is one of the most successful life forms on our planet. They existed a hundred million years before the dinosaurs. Okay, so this project was inspired by uh, the ver uh, blog uh, of Nancy Alasaf. Uh, she work of Tom Viscombe uh, and this study was about uh, uh, simulating the pattern of the dragon uh, fly wings and what is amazing about this idea for me as a structure engineer then that she mixed the two type of pattern the orthogonal pattern and the cellular type of pattern which has different structural behavior and she mixed, it, mixed it these two type of pattern according to uh, the forces in the structure. What she did, she used Kangaroo which is a dynamic relaxation program, a plugin for, for a grasshopper and she uh, took this uh, rectangular grid and uh, then uh, she, she applied some forces and calculated the curvature and she grouped the, the points of the, of the grid where the, she had higher curvature she assigned cellular type of pattern where she had lower curvature she assigned the uh, orthogonal grid uh, so this, this is a very nice work I believe you can see here okay so what I've done is I I have this curve here. This is uh, the shape of a, a dragonfly wing. I first of all, I did I didn't use a kangaroo. I've used Karamba, which is a finite element model, a plugin for for grasshopper. I uh, create a mesh like here. You can see and turn this mesh to the shell element. I applied. Uh, mesh load, uniformly distributed mesh load, and I have restrained uh, the this right side of the. You can see here; these are the support point here. Then I have used uh, this uh, caramba to calculating uh, the deformed shape here. You can see here. Okay, so this is the deflected shape. You can see here if I'm changing if I'm changing the load the, I'm changing the load the wing actually moves okay so here so you can see okay then uh, okay. then I have to uh, recreate to the, I have to recreate the surface the def on the deformed shape. I've done it with uh, with this patching, and then I've calculated the curvature of of the of the, of the deflected shape. Here you can see. Okay, so this is the. the you can see the, the curvature of the surface. Then. I have uh, grouped the points which uh, which has higher curvature where the forces are higher and uh, in the, in the points where the curvature is lower so the forces the bending moments are lower you can see here these are the points here okay these are the points where we don't have too too big uh, bending moments and these are the point where we have a high bending moment here so what I have done then uh, I've generated 
random distribution uh, points cloud here and then I used this Voronoi Voronoi pattern just a moment back here okay so this is all together the points here let me set this one okay then this is uh, the point on the deformed shape so i had to project these points to to the horizontal plane the x uh, x y plane and then i use voronoi uh, diagram here you can see it is uh, almost ready and then i Cut all the lines which were outside of, the, of my boundary, and here is the dragonfly wing. Don't you like it? It looks very nice. So let's just play with it. Uh, you can see here how the different uh, patterns uh, appears in the wing. It is just beautiful. So let me show you how can we use the parametr uh, parametric uh, sets. Here you can see uh, you can change the number of the points, which uh, is, is is directly related to the restraining f uh, at, at at this end, this right end. Okay, so I can change the support, and then uh, the pattern is changing. I can change the the. Uh, mesh division and lower the division the pattern is more coarse and uh, the higher is the mesh division I have a fine pattern look, look here. I can change uh, the cellular the size of the cells here you can see here I have a large cells smaller size it's a very nice one then uh, this is the random uh, random uh, starting point for the random number generation I can change the uh, pattern by this way okay I have a small algorithm here to eliminating the points which were which are very close to each other you can see here it is without erasing the points here I erase the points which are very close to, uh, to each other so I have a much clearer uh, grid and this is uh, cont this uh, controls the ratio of between the cellular type of pattern and the orthogonal type of pattern you can see here so it's just changing like this way okay well I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye-bye.